Oh my god, I cannot believe we're gonna see Area 51. Good evening, I'm Andy Oliver and welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno and we are here at the world premiere of Paul. Directed by Greg Matola, who directed, of course, a super bad. And also starring Nick Frost and the legendary Simon Pegg. We'll be hoping to catch up with some of the stars of the movie on the purple carpet. I'm Paul and I really need your help. I don't know, we're on quite a tight schedule. It's cold and blustery today, and I'm like, this really is London. This is London's yeah. Times Square. Yeah, <laughs> this, it's, it's very bright and colourful. How did you get involved in the film, then? Um, I was fans of Simon and Nick uh, since Shaun of the Dead. Um, they're just brilliant people that love movies, and they're very funny, and, and uh, I was asked to be part of the project, and uh, I was happy that they had an opportunity to, like, you know, go over to America and, like, you know, get on a bigger stage. They deserve it. They're really, really great. Smart, funny, collaborative. It's a great combination to be around. You mentioned funny, but what was it like working with a different type of sense of humour, a British sense of humour? Well, I, you know, I'm a fan of British sense of humour, you know, from Monty Python to uh, Gervais, and, you know, I'm a fan of so, so much of it. So for me, um, you know, you can kind of nitpick the cultural references, but we were, we're all very silly people, and it became very apparent when we all were hanging out on, on set that even between takes, us kind of messing around and ad-libbing and just having fun, it was apparent that we were just funny people. And so I think once you have that common denominator, um, you know, the, the details of the cultural references isn't as, as important. What's the matter, Clive? There is an alien in the kitchenette making bagels and coffee. Do you want tea? No, I don't want tea. Ooh, Marmite. What if we wake up and find him inserting a probe into our anus? They don't do that. You want one of these? Huh? Did you allow a lot of improvisation on the set? Uh, there was some, not as much as on a movie like Superbad, because the script was very tight. But yes, there was definitely a lot of... There were some crazy things. Some like those Kristen Wiig curses. I don't know where they came from, but they... <laughs> they came from some strange place that, that, that were not on the page. So. Soil, report. I'm closing in, I can feel it. In 24 hours, he's gonna wish he never set foot on planet Earth. I want that little green prick dead ASAP. As a self-confessed uh, sci-fi fan and comic book fan, would you see your characters more like you? You're acting as yourself uh, growing. Uh, no, because Graham's very shy and retiring and he's not very good with people, you know, he's kind of... He's a bit of a wallflower, which I'm not really. So, I, I, I mean, Nick more so. Nick's character is more sort of confident, and uh, uh, but that's not like Nick either. Nick's Nick's confident, but in a different way. So, I think these are probably, even though they're like similar in interest to us, they're probably the most different we've played to ourselves. Maybe Nicholas Angel is different. I don't know. Any sort of eighty sci-fi movies that you put in the, uh, into the movie? Yeah, ET, uh, Explorers. Um, the, uh, I mean, films like Back to the Future, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know, which isn't necessarily sci-fi, but certainly as a structured adventure film is an amazing example of screenwriting. Uh, you know, it's a big love letter to Steven Spielberg, really. The individual that you're traveling with is highly dangerous. He's not dangerous. He's kind of rude. Oh! oh! What? This is small on my plan. Did you learn anything about yourself on the road trip as an actor and as a person? You know what? Did you learn anything new about yourself on your road trip uh, as an actor and as a person? Uh, I can sustain temperatures as low as minus 50, quite happily. A couple of times I've seen him scratch his space fan ball. <laughs> he showed me things. She's talking about his space fan balls. Why are we holding hands? So we look like a family. Hey, we're just a couple of regular guys walking down the street with a small cowboy. Well, we can't say better than the film itself. Fugitive. Celebrity. Slacker. Alien. That is it from the world premiere of Paul. I'm Andy Oliver. I'm Claire Bueno, and you are watching Premier Scene. I like this song. Stoke the fire. Why would you do that? I'm not gonna eat a dead bird, am I?